will be a uh, very, I think it's going to be very important for the UK. I think it's going to be very important. Uh, dealing with the European Union, I hate to say this to you, but dealing with the European Union is very difficult. Uh, they drive a hard bargain. Uh, they're represented by Jean-Claude, who is uh, a friend of mine, but he's a tough man. He's a very, very tough man. He's a great negotiator. And we have all the cards in this country because all we have to do is tax their cars and they would give us anything they wanted because they send millions of Mercedes over, they send millions of BMWs over, but we're talking to the European Union, we're going to see if we can work something out, but, but I will say this, uh, dealing with the uh, UK, they have not treated the UK very well, they, that's a very tough bargain they're driving, the European Union, it's a very tough bargain, and I think that UK has the right man in charge right now, the right person in charge, in the form of Boris. What is your Afghanistan? What is your current thinking on holding out the United States? Well, we're talking to uh, the government of Afghanistan. We're talking to the Taliban. And we're talking to others, and we're looking at uh, different things. We've been there for 18 years. Ridiculous. We have taken it down a notch. We've uh, heard about 13,000 people right now. 13,000 Americans. Uh, NATO has some troops there too, by the way. I've seen this was happens. This is what happens. Eighteen years. They're like really uh, fighting for the uh, almost with the police force over there. It's been so many years. But it's like a police force. And a police force. And as I said, I'll say it any amount of time, this is not using nuclear. We could bring it more to the if we wanted to fight it. I'm not looking to kill 10 million people. I'm looking to kill 10 million Afghans because that's what would happen. And I'm not looking to do that. But it's been going on for almost 19 years now. And that is ridiculous. But that is, uh, it's a dangerous place and we have to always keep an eye on it. Sounds like there are people who can do that if you could. I'd like to uh, look at various alternatives. One of the alternatives is going on right now. We're talking about a plan. I don't know whether or not uh, the plan's going to be acceptable. All right, acceptable. the president is about to wrap this up. I can see uh, 800 people went strong. Let me get back to this you know, media obsession. Let's, let's, let's pray for a recession uh, when we get back. Um, we have a lot of other news we're going to get to today, especially the New York Times. Crazy, creepy, sleepy Uncle Joe, the 2020 race, a lot going on today. Uh, oh.